Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your Unity Dots project from the Hybrid Render V1, which is the default, up to the Hybrid Render V2, which is the next version and the currently actively in development version of the Hybrid Renderer. Now, a couple other reasons you may want to do this rather than it just being the newest one. Um, it actually is more performance, so you are going to get more performance out of your game. Um, a little bit back, I did a video um, of me creating the Conway's Game of Life in Unity ECS. And if you did see that, you'll remember that when I switched over to the Hybrid Render V2, the performance in that project just immediately increased. Also, there are a number of features that are only available in Hybrid Render V2. In fact, one of those I'm going to be showing you how to do later this week, so be sure to stay tuned for the channel for that one. So a couple of prerequisites. The first thing that you need to know about the Hybrid Render V2 is that it is only compatible with Unity's Universal Render Pipeline or their High Definition Render Pipeline, URP and HDRP. It does not support the built-in render pipeline, and I don't know if it will going forward. Also, this video assumes that you already do have the hybrid renderer installed in your project. Now, it should go without saying, but before you do any of these steps, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you take a full backup of your project so that way if anything goes wrong, you can always just revert to how it was before, uh, maybe try again and try something differently, or just not even do it entirely. So anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can upgrade your project from the Hybrid Render V1 to Hybrid Render V2. Now I'm doing this with my uh, Rollerball recreation that I made um, actually about two years ago now. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to do is upgrade our project to the Universal Render Pipeline. So the way that we're gonna do that, of course, go to Window and Package Manager, and you'll see the Package Manager opens up here. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is in the little dropdown, we'll go to the Unity Registry, and we'll scroll all the way to the bottom to the Universal RP for Universal Render Pipeline. Just go ahead and click Install on that and wait a couple seconds until that fully installs. All right, so once we have URP installed, now we actually need to uh, configure what is known as the Universal Render Pipeline Asset, which is kind of a uh, central place to configure some of the rendering settings. So what I like to do is I just like to create a new folder here and just call this Renderer. Uh, now within here, we can just go ahead and right click and we'll do Create, and then we'll come down to Rendering, universal render pipeline and then we're going to be looking for a pipeline asset forward renderer go ahead and click that i'm just going to go ahead and hit, uh, accept the default name so i'll hit enter and then you'll see that we actually have uh, two new assets here so we have the pipeline asset and the pipeline asset renderer so now we just need to confirm some settings on the uh, universal render pipeline asset so we'll just go ahead and click this um, down at the bottom here where it says advanced we'll go ahead and expand that and make sure the srp batcher is check marked and enabled the thing we need to do is go over to our project settings and player and then down in the other settings we need to change color space from gamma to linear because the hybrid renderer at this time actually does not support the gamma color space so we'll just go ahead and say change to linear we do get a warning saying it may take some time uh, but usually it's been pretty quick for me so then once we have that all configured we can just come over to the project settings and we'll go to the graphics option and then where it says scriptable render pipeline settings we can just go ahead and hit, hit this little toggle here and then we'll go ahead and apply our universal render pipeline asset and you'll see that now everything looks pink because we're now using the universal render pipeline um, but these shaders are not compatible with the universal render pipeline just quite yet. Now, luckily there is a built-in method of doing this. And again, this is why we took a backup before because this uh, will change some of the things in our project. But if we go up to edit and render pipeline and universal render pipeline, uh, we have a couple options here. We can upgrade the project materials to URP materials or upgrade selected materials to URP materials. So if we only have some selected, when we only wanna upgrade the selected ones, we can do that. But in this case, let's just go ahead and upgrade all of them. And so, you know, again, it says it's going to override the material. So make sure you have a backup. We'll just go ahead and proceed. And it looks like it actually did not update the walls because I just have the default material on those. So that's not an issue. I can just create a new wall material and we'll just make this white like it was before and just apply this to all four walls. Now there's just one final thing that we need to do to upgrade this to actually be using the hybrid render V2. And that is also under the player settings. If we actually just scroll down a little bit more, you'll see that there's this option for scripting defined symbols. Just go ahead and hit the plus icon and then just paste in this 
um, little string of text right here that says enable hybrid renderer v2 i will have this down in the description in the pinned comment of this video and then we can just go ahead and hit apply right there now it's not actually using hybrid render v2 at this point uh, so first we just need to go ahead and save our project and close out of unity all right then we actually need to open up our file explorer and then we'll go into the library directory in here we're looking for the shader cache then we can just go ahead and delete that. Uh, don't worry, this is something that actually will rebuild the next time we open up Unity. So we can just close out of the file explorer, then reopen Unity, and boom, you're now using Hybrid Render V2. So go have fun with all the new performance benefits that you will get, as well as the new features that it allows you to use. And then just to confirm, you can go ahead and enter play mode, and you will see in the debug console, it says Hybrid Render V2 active, and then it kind of gives you uh, some details about some of the things that are happening within the scene. So yeah, that's uh, basically how you upgrade your project to use Hybrid Render V2. Do hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about Unity's data-oriented technology stack and their entity component system, including that video that I did promise you coming out um, in just a few days from now, where I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, use some cool features that are available to us with Hybrid Render V2. Anyways, with that being said, I do hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.